I have read uh, the Department of Justice statement and some of the news reporting, and there's some really interesting similarities that I've seen in the FIFA case to my own experience. The first one is the real teeth of international law enforcement cooperation. I mean, this was a takedown, for lack of a better word, in multiple countries with cooperation of international law enforcement and prosecutorial authorities that really shows the increased level of how the enforcers are working together now. And as someone who was nearly subject to carbon copy prosecution in the United States and the United Kingdom, and I ultimately ended up cooperating with the City of London Police, there were real teeth in it back in 2007 through 2009. And I think now the uh, FIFA arrests show just how that's been taken to a new level. And I think the other area where I found some similarity is in the fact that this was a long-standing investigation and it shows the patience that the investigators have when making these cases, which among the people targeted probably perpetuates what I had, which is I'm never going to get caught syndrome. But when you look at this case, uh, what I noticed, which was toward the end of some of the reporting, as there, there were cooperators. So there were people who pled guilty today, uh, one of which I believe was cooperating, which I'm sure involved undercover recordings, and he had been doing that since 2011. So the dynamic of there are no witnesses here, I'm never going to get caught, which I certainly embraced, I imagined that some of the people this morning had the same shock that I did when I got called into the Justice Department as thinking, I never thought this day would happen.